This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. In this episode, we're going to create a search within our application, and it's going to be pretty neat. We can do something where we look for a certain kind of title. However, maybe we want to drill it down a bit further to also search around the category. So we're just going to paste in our search query into one string, and then we can do the search. And you'll see that the most popular search results are on the category humor with the title Terrible Swift Sword, as these were the higher ranking results. If we also put in something else on the publisher and then do a search, we'll see that. Now you'll see the highest ranking result matches all of these queries. And we could even go as far to say that something like humor must be a required parameter, meaning that it definitely shows up in the results. So we can hit search again, and now you can see that it changed the output. However, we still have our highest ranking result is one that's matching all the terms. And to power the backend, we're going to be using Melee Search, and it's very similar to Elasticsearch and something that you would find with something like SearchKick. There are some alternatives, and I would probably go with the alternatives first. So you can get pretty far with Ransack or PG Search, which is going to be doing the search directly on your database. However, if you outgrow those solutions, then you need to use something like a full text search engine, which is what Melee Search is. And I do prefer this over Elasticsearch. I've used Elasticsearch in the past and I've always had problems. Everything will be fine for several months or years. But then all of a sudden, I would run into some issues, even on the managed services, where things just start to break down. There could be a managed update, which just breaks my application, or some of the indexes could be malformed, so we're getting some errors, and just a lot of other headaches. However, with Melee Search, I've not experienced any of those problems yet, and it's been just an overall really nice experience. And so we're going to start off our application with a very simple scaffold, and then we're able to search the title. That's the only thing we're able to search because it's just doing a like query on the back end. If we try to include anything else, then we're just not going to get any results. And for a very simple application, this may be good enough to get you started. But once you start getting a lot of data and you're wanting to search across different kinds of associations, then things can get a little bit more complicated. We can introduce Melee Search to take that off the back end. And there is a free tier that you're able to start with where you get 10,000 searches included. And then you'll also have 100,000 documents included. And so each record that you're indexing would be considered one document. But the nice part about Melee Search is that it's also open source, so you can host your own. 